How's it going everyone? Session here. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, the Redux Edition. This is the second playthrough. So we have had a lot of time to really sit down and try to compile just something of the nature with the deck we've been working with. So we're using like a water, aqua, sea serpent, fish deck. And I know for certainty that there is a way I can utilize my cards to fuse and make, I think, essentially what is the aqua dragon. Now, I haven't been able to figure out how to actually make the card until I did a reincarnation. And luckily enough, I got myself the catapult turtle, which thankfully, be it, it being a five star aqua monster, I am able to now at least fuse that with the appropriate deck uh, cards that I have to make uh, the aqua dragon itself. Now, that being said, though, there is still a lot of setup required to actually utilize the card and i'm going to try and see if we can use some of the cards we have at least acquired from battling against weevil to put up this deck against rex so we'll see what we got now the biggest problem with going up against rex is that because he's using a serpent team or a serpent uh sorry reptile deck if you will uh the serpent team princess is already just a lethal card in his deck and so to use that in combination with a lot of the other cards he's got, I'm I need to take advantage of several scenarios. First and foremost, he has, I believe it is the Aqua Chorus card, which my deck is able to actually benefit from. So I do need to try and take advantage of that. Secondly, and I think more importantly, because he has Aqua Chorus, it's imperative that I try and get my deck and my combo off as best as possible. The issue, though, is that because he's primarily in Wasteland territory, it's actually going to be tough to kind of like be in his side of the field without at least triggering, you know, something of a nature in his in his deck, pretty much. So I need to be very careful with fighting against the, the Serpentine Princess that he has, as well as any of the other cards that he can buff that are reptiles, because my deck doesn't have reptiles. He will be able to take over my deck if he starts overpowering his reptiles a little bit too much so we'll see that being said though the definite card i need to acquire from his deck is the aqua chorus card so we are going to try our best to see if we can somehow acquire said card now i think at the moment i'm a little bit down let me see this has got five cards i think right yeah so okay that's not the that's not terrible that card just prevents people, any any card from moving two spaces if they are in uh, an advantageous terrain, pretty much, which is not terrible. I, the problem that I haven't actually figured out, even when my first playthrough versus him, was how do I, like, prevent him from buffing his cards using, like, if he flips the princess, you know, how do I actually prevent those cards from getting buffed? Because statistically, they can get extremely extremely high and that'll pretty much just put me in a in the worst scenario possible if i do that well okay so that's that um he has three monsters on the field okay. i wonder if i can kind of trick him into pulling out the uh like flipping that card against me sort of thing um what do i think very I need because what I need to do is in order to make Kyrie Shin, I need to specifically mix. I have a singular dragon in my deck. That dragon plus a fish will make Kyrie Shin. And with the and with the catapult turtle, I would mix Kyrie Shin with that turtle, and then we have ourselves the Aqua Dragon, which will be uh, the best card I could possibly pull out. Oh, I think that actually works. So that's how we do it. I hadn't actually, you know what's honestly the possibility? There's a very high likelihood I actually managed to prevent the princess from flipping its cards over and whatnot, but I, I hadn't really thought about how the actual process worked, and I just, for the first time, I think, uh, actively realized how it works. So this would be, this could be very good for us. It'll just depend. Objectively, what I need to do is I need to either I actually should try to move uh, here so I can place a root water down 
Because he has so much wasteland space on his side, I have to try to eliminate that as much as possible. The problem though is that I don't even have my... The, the fact that my, my deck requires like one card to get it going and I don't have any way to replace that card. I haven't been able to actually reincarnate and effectively get an alternate card uh, dragon in mind. So that's mostly why it's been a little bit rough for us. This is actually very good too, so. We can do this. The next place I want to get is to the relative left of the princess card here and put another root water there. Because now I can get rid of this card. And let's see if I... I do have a fish. I have two. Oh, I have three. Even better. The Tongio is also still a very important card that I need to... I need to try and utilize as much as possible. Because... What I'll have to try and do is combo it with the Curse Breaker if I need, if I could. Ideally, I want to Curse Breaker a card if it gets too buffed, and then let Tangio debuff it. Okay. So he's got four cards. Okay. Let's see, so this is where things get a little bit problematic. I am going to attempt to break this card. Let's just get rid of it. So now we at least know the trick. Um, I'm gonna have to, I don't think I, the problem is I don't think I have any other card to flip Serpentine Princesses as often as I wish I was able to because the problem is I need a card. Hmm. Okay, I don't know at the moment. I need to just be able to, uh, Okay, we're just, we're just hanging out until then, honestly. I have to figure out how to actually, uh... If I can actually get a Root Water in Red Archery Girl's position, I can two-space it and cover that spot. Okay. So that's a lethal play. Flip it, actually. Now, the Brachia Radius, I think, got buffed from... 27, right? It is 27. That's actually not good for me, though. Oh, you know what? It's not going to be a big deal. Uh, he's going to f he's going to try to attack, and then it's going to backfire for him. Um, hmm. Yeah, if I was able to actually move... I'm going to see if I can try to start moving my deck leader in that one spot. If I had the Catapult Turtle as well, I can actually use the Catapult Turtle to uh, destroy the Labyrinth terrain and give myself more freedom of positioning and mobility, but I don't have a card yet, so we'll see. I also forgot that he also has the Super Marauder, so he actually couldn't two-space me. I didn't really put that into my mind. Um... Honestly, I'm going to try and clear up the deck a little bit. I'm going to just get rid of cards, because I do need to cycle through my deck a little bit. I need a Root Water, I need the Catapult Turtle, I need just a little bit of everything that I have. Okay, so... Uh, it decreases it by 5, yeah? So 22... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly okay with that. Uh, I can't have that car really roaming about in my in that area. So, oh, right. I already forgot about the negate attack. Okay. Well, I have two of those out, so we're going to end up losing both of those just by sheer order of operations. Um, because I, don't, I still don't have a 2700. Fish? Aqua. Okay. I don't... I, I have to be careful, though. I don't want to just keep on throwing out cards, because I will need them at some point. Man, it, it's really... It's kind of rough to just let that card just not... Uh, you know what, actually? I'll try and give myself some time. I don't want to have the 
dinosaur just attack and then another negate attack gets wasted because I should have just kept those cards in my hand, but it would have been tough to kind of cycle through my deck a little bit had I not. So, now the question is... Okay, I got a second one. That's nice. Um, so, I am going to do this. Actually... Okay. I have a better idea. It's it's still going to be fine. I just need to... So the order will be, he'll move the card one space to the left in front of the Marine Beast, he'll attack this card, it'll get destroyed, he'll get decreased, then I can destroy this card with my Archer Girl, which will be perfect, and then we can get rid of it. And that'll at least be the first start. It's okay. I forgot that he, it got buffed for the, um do the aqua chorus and I have to kind of keep that in my mind. That's why it was as strong as it was, unfortunately. Which is fine, but you know, I think now he'll kind of be hard stuck to try to figure out something next in the plan, pretty much. So this is a win for us. We can actually just get rid of this card. It's kind of crazy how that card just destroyed my Tangio, and now it's going to just face the price. Good trade. That's a good trade. All right. So now, hmm. um, I I I just have to remember to save a fish card. Putting down aqua cards is definitely like the better, the good play too, though, because just having those cards be buffed by aqua course if there is an aqua course activated would be ideal. But if he's not going to actually attack, then I need to force myself an opportunity to go on the offensive. Because I don't really think that he'll try anything fishy. Let's see. I'm... I guess just going to try and make this happen. So we'll see. Okay. Now, hypothetically, if I can get a Kairi Sheen formed in the deck, I'll put it, I'll just flip it. Because, uh, actually, I can't do that. I need to be careful about just flipping that card out. Because if I lose that card, then my entire deck combo gets pretty much trashed. Um, I do not want to. I, I do want to flip it, but I want to flip it safely, knowing that it can't actually like attack. Basically, if I can do that, then we'll be in good business. But if he doesn't attack me, though, then I'm going to keep on cycling through my deck until I have no cards left, and that's going to be very complicated. So let's figure out what this is. I almost wish I had like a a way to reveal and flip all of his cards. That I wish I had like dark piercing. Oh, that's the highest attacking power monster that he has. Okay. Interesting. They would shift actually. If that's his highest attack uh, monster, then I don't see any reason why we just don't immediately hit that card with the potion. I don't. It doesn't matter to me what the card is, and to be very honest, I'm I'm not even going to flip it. I'm just gonna let it sit there, kind of like marinate forever. What does this make? Oh, okay. That card is helpful. I just, you know, I didn't realize that it was that. What in the world? No way. Oh my god. Well, the potion usage 
kind of rough. Okay. Um, wow, that is a power play that I've ever seen. So now I have to be very, very mindful about that card. Thankfully, I can easily remember that it's behind the Serpent Marauder. That card got buffed 2,000 points. And also the deck leader, I'm pretty sure, adds an additional 500. So, that is a powerhouse of a card. Okay, cool. So we got the Catapult Turtle. Um, let's just start kind of cracking through this area a little bit. So because I have actually a lot of space to work with, we put this down, and we just start turning things into normal terrain. Very simple. It doesn't even matter if he doesn't attack. I just need to make sure that I try and cover some of this ground. Um, okay. I think, honestly... I think this card can be buffed by Red Archer Girl. I think she actually isn't opposed to being buffed by that card. So we'll see. Very defensive at the moment. I don't like that. Okay. I'm trying to remember what card. Okay, there's my dragon, so now I need a fish. But like a a weaker fish. Um I kinda sorta should not do it with the tongue deal. Here, let's try this with the uh let's try this. This should it doesn't because it's too weak. That's that's fine, that's fine, that's actually fine. I just need to be careful about the next card that I use, because if I lose my dragon card, that's going to be very, very bad for me. I cannot lose that dragon card. That's the most important card in my entire combo. Good, uh, it was good food for thought, though, you know? Okay. Let's put this. Um. Once more with feeling. Good. Okay. So now we can flip this like so. Which is good. All that's left to do now is... Yep, we just gotta turn it into a dragon, simply put. The catapult turtle was nothing for me except for just destroy some labyrinth, but we don't even, you know, need it anywhere near as often. The the super buff card is is still has not been moved, so I'm I'm not at all worried about that. I just wanna move this like this. Um Okay. Okay. That's actually true. I forgot. I did... That's the only card I picked up from Weevil for now. I totally forgot I had the main unit bug. The reason why I have that card is very simple. Um, I don't have a card that just destroys... What in the world are you doing? Okay, sure. I don't have any cards that um, just destroy upon impact. Like if you try to attack it sort of thing. So I just really liked that card conceptually that I wanted to uh, take advantage of it pretty much. So... That's the only reason why I have that card. I think once I get another version of the card that I can basically uh, give it, like, some kind of, uh, I don't know, some kind of leeway, then I'll definitely swap it around. But for now, I'm going to just hold on to it. And I'm trying to figure out, I might try and still hold out on... I'm trying to think. The hardest thing to figure out is do I flip 
Man needs to break on this card, or do I try and Curse Breaker it? I think I'm gonna try and Curse Breaker it. Um, so let's, I'm going to, I'm gonna test. Let's just see what we can test right now. So we'll put those two cards in defense mode. We'll see if he attacks with either one, and then try to see if we can try and get some kind of mobility ongoing. Because the other issue is I still haven't really encountered my, or found my second root water. The second root water will definitely be like my, uh, okay. Okay, so the two cards to the side. One, two, three. Uh, I think he actually did. I think this card is. Oh, okay, sure. Lovely. Save myself some face. So the card, this this card, the two to the side, that one, one, two, three, four, are monsters, and then this is also monsters. So yeah, I, I just need him to, at some point, like, fight me. <laughs> I would fight him, but I'm pretty sure I will be one-shot by whatever card is. Great. Okay. That's unfortunate, but that's okay. Maybe. It will certainly depend. Problem. There's actually a bit of a problem right now. Well, there was a problem. I was going to say that, like, ideally, yeah, that card is stronger than my card. So, does Aqua Dragon flip and make space? No, only when it attacks. Okay, that's fine. I just had to make sure I actually understood the assignments and i do so that's good however we are already very very low on cards and it's kind of like that on both sides like a little bit so oh that's also what it was he was the card was stronger because it was close to the deck leader that's the other uh the other issue that comes into play because i didn't think that this card was going to be stronger than my card but it only was stronger than the, the Black Shark because it was too close to the deck leader. So, that's why we've got to be very careful about how we move with the Aqua Dragon. Because the Aqua Dragon is my powerhouse card. Like, if that card is fully functional, then I'll be golden. But if I do not get rid of either some of his stronger cards, or if I lose this Aqua Dragon, there's no chance of recovery. Especially because he's got a, like, super buff card. Interesting. Yeah, he's got a super buff card inside of the, uh, on his side of the field. And I, I just can't afford to lose that card right now. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think, though. I don't think I want you to destroy the Tondio. So I'm not going to allow you to. I do have another root water though, and I do need to use it in some way, shape, and form. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll try and, I'll try and see if I can come up with something. I do have an idea. I just need him to kind of, sort of, stop flipping cards. Yeah, I didn't think that he was going to attack. Well, let me think about this. 22 minus 5 puts him at what? 17? I'm actually going to let him attack it. I wonder if he actually will attack it. I'll be very intrigued if he does. I feel like... Oh my god, he does. Okay, well that's unfortunate, because that's another dinosaur that's like just lost in the process. 
See, I almost put the card in defense mode, and if I did that, that would have been so bad. Especially considering the defense is so abysmal in comparison. Oh, I do not like that. I have never seen Tangyo attack in this game, and for the first time seeing it, honestly, not cool. <laughs> not okay. Not actually okay. All right. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. I'm going to do this now because I can, and I'm going to do... I think I'm going to test, I'm going to test it with Great White instead. Let me see what he actually just deleted most of his cards from because he actually did... I'm going to put down to now. Oh, wow. Yep. That's kind of what I was afraid of. That That's the card that... It's... It might be a Brachioradius. I think it's a dinosaur. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. That's a play. That is a crazy play. Okay. Nope. We just have to improvise. He officially moves. He moved that card over. Okay. The fact that he has two ships is like kind of nuts, actually. You know what, actually? Mm, okay, it's it's honestly just too late. I I should have I should have just let him. I should have just killed it with the maneater bug. But the curse breaker works just as well. So there's no way there's no way that card is stronger than my aqua dragon just on the principle alone right there's no way do i just test the one mm. wow that card had 3600 right 36 Actually, actually insane. Okay, so what's this card? Oh, what was it? Uh, okay. It was just a crooked dialus? I can't believe that, that was what it was. Okay, I think I'm starting to. I'm starting to get the impression the card that was, uh, that's been, like, permanently paralyzed, I believe it's a Serpentine Princess. I'm gonna say that with my, with my gut, I think that this is a Serpentine Princess, so, chances are pretty high, I might have actually gotten lucky and dodged a bullet, just because of the fact that, uh, he, uh, isn't able to... Oh, there's the other one. Never mind. Oh, gosh. Dude, 4,000? Right? 41? Okay. I still think that it's another one. That is one, though. And that's, that is a unfortunate event. Oh, Lord. Okay. Now we're... Okay. We've got to be very careful about this now. I had to think about this very, very carefully. Um, On the bright side, he flipped the... He flipped the princess... This is actually very good for us. Okay, the card that's in the wasteland got buffed. This card didn't get buffed because it's not a water monster. The princess got buffed, which is dangerous. Um, so what we do is we put this down, and that's it. I just 
I have to just wait because he'll put this card in defense mode. That's perfectly fine. I rather just let it like die pretty much. He'll flip the man eater bug, lose that card. I'll kill the uh, emperor. Yep. Now, the only other thing is that card also got buffed by the Aqua Chorus. So the card that's actually in front, uh, this card got buffed as well. So I do just need to be careful about that. Um, okay. We kill this. He's out of cards, as am I, basically. We're both almost out of cards, which is not good, but it's not the worst thing ever. And hopefully we can, you know, make do of what we've got right now. I wonder if he's going to use the card to attack the man eater bug, because that would be interesting. I'm actually going to test that. Because my Aqua Dragon is stronger. Hmm. How much attack power does, uh, oh, 36? Okay. Taking advantage of his Aqua, uh, Aqua card buffing is in, has been incredibly helpful to me, honestly. Interesting. The problem though is like I'm not I'm not entirely confident in his play. Uh if let me think. If I if I kill the bug, root water down, place this here. This card got buffed. We know that much. I actually don't Okay, I want to see if he'll attack my card face down. So we can try and figure out what that is. Because if, if anything, worst case scenario, I'm going to have to start going on the offensive. I'm not attacking with the man-eater bug, because that would be a very foolish action. Um, let's see this. No, uh... Mm. That wasn't the wisest decision because that's the that's his buffed card this card i haven't a clue what it is oh my god it's okay so the card that's hmm the card that is immortally spellbound is not a princess it's actually not a princess Okay. Uh, on the bright side, however... I'm not going to be able to destroy it. Because he'll put it in defense mode. So I have to actually work around... He's got a Gorgon's eye. Because I can't, I have no way of destroying that card at all. So, I'm going to have to take the risk. Such a crazy, 
crazy long winded match. I need him to destroy these, the uh, the Red Archer girl. Or, actually, no, I don't. He's okay. I am absolutely taking advantage of the situation. He's going to attack. Yep. He's going to attack the Aqua Dragon. It's going to backfire, which is very good because it's a it's a it's a crisis that I don't have to worry about. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Now, that's his final card. Okay. The problem. The problem is that I. That actually. That is a card I cannot kill. It doesn't matter what the scenario boils down to. Uh, very, very complicated game right now. I want to avoid that card from moving at all costs. Um, I, I think I just gotta take a risk. Okay, that's actually good because that's, that's that's the third one. So we just delete that. That's actually totally fine. Um, I think so, yeah? Because if I take this over... None of those cards have the capacity to effectively move. Even if he moves this card, it doesn't matter. And he won't move it, which is good, actually. So I'm I'm now going to back this up and we're gonna destroy these cards and see what we can make out of that play. But that being said though, still can't I actually I actually can't destroy the Gorgon's Eye. That's kind of the other thing too. That card just has to sit there forever. It doesn't matter. I can't believe he had he had the Gorgon's Eye. I actually forgot he had that card. So this is kind of like a weird situation, honestly. Because I, there's absolutely zero way from what I can understand on how I plan to actually I can't even hit I can't even hit this card I know it's too strong um yeah because once he moves that once he moves his death into the corner that's like a GG situation for me honestly so there's there's nothing I can do What will be crazy interesting is if that card is somehow a strong card. Defense mode? Defense mode. Okay. Um We're gonna have to we're gonna have to have him take the son of a If, if I destroy that card, that's bad. Okay. Ooh. 
Interesting. I, I, that was my biggest fear. If, if somehow my water dragon fairy destroyed this card, then I, I just wouldn't be able to, uh, you know. Okay. Well, thank goodness for this situation, because oh my goodness. I mean, he's officially losing. Like, there's just nothing that you can do about this. All right. So, we had to fast forward a little bit. But to kind of paint the scenario, what's happened, okay? So, his Serpent Marauder is 4,100 attack power, no matter what it boils down to, okay? This is his last remaining monster on his entire side of the field. And I've, and he's got the Gorgon's Eye. Now, my Aqua Dragon, in its strongest form, is... 3850. So his Marauder would destroy my card. But the thing is that if he moves this card and it goes into attack mode, it doesn't get to move two spaces at all. And ideally, my Aqua Dragon would be able to catch up to his deck leader by the time that the Marauder tries to do anything to me. Uh, additionally, I have a Root Water, which would have also been able to do the same thing if it worked off of the Aqua Dragon's positioning with regards to where the water was so if i had root water here i can move it two spaces and then put the um deck leader in the corner same thing with aqua dragon being here moving it to here if the uh boss was to put it in the corner like this then that'd be what it was now the problem is why i can't do that is because as soon as i put my root water here or my aqua dragon here or on the gorgon to destroy it the marauder would take over that card and that would be a ggs so because of that scenario, uh, this just kind of became like an infinite loop situation. And so as a result now, we are going to call this the final turn. Crazy game, honestly. Very, very intrigued by the entire thing. But the fact that I still can't believe that that card got... I would have destroyed that card if it wasn't buffed by the final uh, blessing that he gave that card, basically. That was such a crazy play for him to actually, like, utilize. So, I was, you know, I was surprised by it myself when I saw it. I just didn't, I couldn't believe that that's what happened. You know, the last blessing card that he had gave him the buff to prevent that card from being anything. It was insane. But, GG's. I, that game was insane, actually. He's He will forever be one of the most... It, like most difficult duels I've ever played in the history of this game, honestly. Redux Rex Raptor is a is a beast of a of a duelist. So now we got bones, okay, and then we got ourselves a uh, Darkness Ruler. Hmm. So I remember that Darkness Ruler. I'm stuck in the labyrinth, which is annoying. However, I can potentially break out if I uh, get the Catapult Turtle. So we'll see how that goes. And then we also have Necromancer. His is like. What, Bones is half dark, half wasteland, pretty much? But the thing is that his his monsters suck in the water, <laughs> hilariously enough. So if I can get the Aqua Dragon combo going, then we'll be in big business. So we'll see. Um, most likely, knowing how this is going to play out for me personally, I'll probably go up against Bones. Uh, I, I just want to try and see if I can get some kind of card out of him. The other thing is that I also need to actually fight Rex as much as it's going to be a pain to do it. I have to battle Rex because I do need him to give me the... Uh, he's got the Power of Kaishin card, which I can actually utilize for my, my deck in its entirety. And he's got Aqua Cores, and I need the Aqua Cores card. So I'll try and see what I can do against him. I don't exactly know how it's going to work out for me, but I'll definitely see if I can get something up and running uh, in time for the next battle. We go up against Bones. So thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, sorry it took a little longer than it was supposed to, but we, you know got the win and i'll see you guys next time take care